Bonjour, bonsoir, buenos dias, buenas noches. What's going on? Welcome back, everybody. So today we're going to be talking about unfaithful. All right, so this was a couple named Nico and what was the girl's name? It was Nika, Nico and Kara. So it was Nico that actually came in. So this time around, we had a guy come in, which was a little different. He said he works in sales. And Tammy, she was kind of like on my pace with that one because for me, it's just not my thing. Like, I, if you don't want it, I'm going to be like, okay. Like, I don't like forcing people to do nothing they don't want to do. So I don't have the drive or the motivation to work in sales. It's just a no. So anyways, um, he said that his girl Kara lives with him. They were friends for like 10 years. And then they've been together for like one year. So they got dogs and all that. She recently got her barber license. And she decided she wanted to do a cut on him while she was in her little cute lingerie and all that. So it actually blew up, went viral on TikTok. So it became her identity and her brand because that's what she does now. You know what I'm saying? Like when something's trending or it trended on or became viral, if you don't do the same thing or more of the same, then you're just going to kind of fade away. So that's kind of how it works. And she went with what made her who she was. You know what I'm saying? So she, she blew up on there got a lot of things from there a lot of clients and stuff like that so he did admit that he messed up back in the days he was cheating or whatever um and now it's part it's become part of his insecurity that she would kind of play the lick back game you know and tammy kind of was like well you know it makes sense you know he was saying how he wants trust and and respect and all these things and he wants somebody to treat him right but tammy's like you know you're kind of asking for stuff that you didn't even give you know she read him his rights honey and she's like you know going forward you need to make sure you continue to do better you know so yeah so she goes to to you know they do the whole investigation and stuff to see what's going down and she she first they call her well not call her but they saw her trying to get more clients like kind of like soliciting and telling them what she does she cuts and she sits on your lap and stuff like that you know it's, it's got to make you want more you know what i mean because you're saying you're going to sit on my lap like okay you know, get a happy ending while you're getting a nice little shave. It's, it's definitely different. So that was something. Then they sent out a decoy just to kind of see how she talks to her clients. And he was kind of, you know, asking a few questions and stuff like that, personal questions. She said she didn't have a man. Because a lot of times when you're in these certain industries, you're, you know, having a man is not favorable. Like, it's not sexy. It doesn't bring out the fantasy and that's what she was giving is like a fantasy while you get a cut um but of course if you're doing these types of jobs you're supposed to keep a job as a job and not let it mix into your personal life so then she got food delivered around the same time when she was telling the dude that she ain't have a man and this guy was giving man vibes and then later on that night he ends up coming over to her house that she shares with nico mind you he put up he let them put up a whole bunch of cameras in the house so she comes with her freaking what you call it you know have this guy come getting all frisky and stuff flirting and all that and then has sex on that same couch that she shares in the home with nico which is i felt was truly disrespectful you know so nico of course he was pissed about it he was like about to break things up in the studio like he was almost as mad as that other girl was from that other episode. Y'all remember that one. So, Nico came ready to fight. They asked him if he wanted to do the takedown or if he wanted to do the team up. And he said he wanted to do the takedown. Because he don't really know if this guy knows or whatever. And you don't want to mess things up. And, you know, then he goes, goes back to her. And then the whole thing is blown up. So, this was like the best way that he saw fit. Which, it was it made sense. So now, um, like I said, he came ready to fight and come to find out, she says something about it. She got tight about the cameras, of course, because cheaters don't like to be put on blast. But then she also ends up saying like she loves Nico. Dante just pays the bills. 
And of course, Dante felt some type of way about that because he's like, I'm the breadwinner in the house. But it's crazy how he claimed that he was a breadwinner, but then she also said, like, I make more money than you. So, like, which one is it? Or is it just she's able to do whatever she wants with her money and you're the one paying the bills? Like, I, I didn't really get it. Um, because it, it wasn't really adding up, like, when you really thought about what they said, like, if you're really listening to what they said, like, that part didn't really make too much sense. But anyway, um, they said that they saw her, whatever, like, it was like you was having sex with this guy on the couch, and she's like, no, I wasn't. They're like, we saw you. You know what I'm saying? Like, she really tried to lie and have a straight face and say it several times, you know, to them as though they were stupid you know <laughs> she was she was gonna take that lie to the grave honey i mean going hard um but yeah she tried she tried to say that like i said she didn't do anything but they pretty much was like yeah we you can't say that because we already know you did he claimed he was done with her and he didn't love her anymore at one point but of course that's because he was so passionate and so upset about everything Dante did reveal when he finally got a chance to talk he said that he does pay the rent um and he's he didn't know he was doing it for her and him he thought he was just doing it for her and he also brings clients into her so he and he really thought he was her man so she literally played him which is messed up and that's where the the like I said the job has now intertwined with your personal and now you know you're 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 crossing boundaries you're crossing lines like if you want to do the whole flirtation thing obviously he's been okay with it he knows that that's your brand and that's what you do so he's accepting of you sitting on multiple men's laps as long as their penis doesn't get inserted into your vagina but it's like you're doing too much now like now you're 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 you're, you're crossing boundaries and doing too much so she told him that you know if he stays home then she won't do this anymore she'll stop everything it's like she just wants him to be at home with her not do anything not getting money but it's like you was just complaining about it's like first she was complaining about the bills she's saying that this guy pays the bills but then she also was complaining that he doesn't give her enough in that affection and emotions because he's always out on the road which granted that probably is the case because he said he's always out um but it's like you didn't even talk to him well she said she spoke to him about it but i don't know i just feel like there's not there wasn't really good communication i feel like she was more so kind of using this as a revenge as a lick back type of thing but it's like at what point do you say all right like i've got enough like you know what i'm saying like i've i've gotten my lick back like i'm good now you know i've gotten this out my system it's like it would have kept on going and going until he finally caught her which is what he finally did it's like and that's the thing like that's why like apologies i don't know like they're not really that it depends like i feel like some apologies is just words you know what i mean just words that people are trying to use to soften the blow to try to to try to make you feel a little better about certain situations and to save face because at the end of the day if she didn't get caught she wouldn't have been sorry you know she's only pretty much sorry that you that she got caught and now your feelings are involved and it makes her look bad that's really and truly what the sorry is about but if it's like if you wasn't caught you would have still been doing the same thing you know it would have still been going on and on to what end you know until maybe nico came home one day randomly to surprise you and found you having sex with this guy i'm pretty sure she tried to you know hey baby what you doing how's it out there you know so she kind of so so things wouldn't kind of clash you know but it's still messed up because you having this guy come to the house where you guys have with your dog you know what i mean with the dog because they kept on talking about that damn dog <laughs> you know like we have a dog together you're not taking the dog so <laughs> but three months later nico's with her again so it was like dude you got so mad and pissed off but he did say he needs some time and space and he said that he's going back on the road to texas for like a few weeks so here we go again back on the same saga the same thing that got you guys to this place is exactly what's happening again so i don't know y'all i don't know <laughs> 
feel like this is a recipe for disaster. But that's on the two of them because <laughs> who don't listen shall learn. You know what I mean? And they 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 gonna have to learn and. They might just not be meant for each other because he might not be able to fulfill her needs and vice versa. She a freak and she needs it more often. And, you know, probably sitting on these guys' laps is probably getting her aroused because she's feeling some, you know, some arousal up under there. Some big, some small, you know, just kind of tapping her up. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, that's probably making her horny and turning her on as well. Ah. Uh. But yeah, y'all, that is the episode. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one. Mm -hmm.